What's going on folks? Larry with Packmaster Dog Training here. Question of the day. I've been hit with this in the past two week, two weeks probably 50 times. Why do I use e-collars? All right, this is coming from a group of people that are very anti-e-collar. They have no clue what this tool is about. They have no clue how I use this tool. And I'm one of those idiots who I try to respond to every phone call, every email, every comment I get in my videos. I do. I try really hard. So I talk to a lot of people every day. So I'm getting bombarded with this question right now. And I think it's from the same group of people. And they seem to be uh, based out of the UK. And I try to answer it. I'm literally trying to explain to them. Um that I don't use e-collars to teach anything. And so their next question is then, why are you using e-collars if you don't use it to teach anything? Well, let me, let, let me, let me step back, the shock collars. Why do you use shock collars? Why do you feel it necessary to shock your dog to get him to do something? If you're even using that term, you're clueless. You're absolutely ignorant to the tool. You're ignorant to how I use it, and you have no clue what you're talking about. So I'm gonna say this, hopefully one last time, so now I can just post this video when I answer this question. I do not use e-collars to teach anything. And yes, I use e-collars on every dog I train, including my own dogs, all right? I use e-collars for one reason, to provide off-leash freedom for my dogs. That's it. The way I teach e-collars, it's out there. You know how I teach it. There's plenty of videos. I teach the e-collar on very, very low levels. So I don't teach the dog how to do something with the e-collar. I teach the dog how to understand what the e-collar means at the lowest level that the dog perceives any stimulation, okay? Not painful, not even uncomfortable. So go back, watch the videos at least, and, and Take a look on how I use it before you make ignorant statements, okay? Um, right now I'm doing seminars around the country, proper use of, of the e-collar. I'm not teaching people how to do things, how to get their dogs to do things with the e-collar. I'm teaching these folks how to use the tool properly so it's not being abused and misused and, and treating dogs the way I don't like to see them being treated. Listen, I'm extremely outspoken when I see someone mistreating a dog extremely outspoken. I should probably just mind my own business, but it's something I can't tolerate. And to be fair to these anti-e-collar people, there are plenty of trainers out there who give them a lot of ammunition. They still use this tool so incorrectly. They use it to correct and punish. And that's what they do. They never teach the dog the meaning, the language of the e-collar. And that and that's wrong. And and that's why I'm so passionate about this subject. You know, I'm I'm constantly making videos and saying the same thing. And I know a lot of people are probably tired of hearing it, but it's important. Listen, guys, this tool is banned in a lot of different countries for a reason. It's because of the idiots that, that abuse it. You know, it's like blaming uh, it's like blaming a hunter for a mass shooting. It, it's just it's just stupid. It it doesn't make sense. You know, when I do see someone misusing the tool, I'm pretty harsh. I'll give you an example. I'm working with a dog right now, Rottweiler, that was trained here locally where I'm at. People sent the dog away, it has a bite history, um, human aggression. They sent the dog away for a board and train, spent a couple of thousand dollars. The dog came back pretty skinny, pretty sick, and worse than it was before, and has no obedience. I deal with that a lot. All right, so we did the first lesson with the dog, and uh, the dog did very, very well, did fantastic. I took the muzzle off the dog. Um, there's definitely a lot of uncomfortable feelings there from the dog, you know. I could tell the dog is waiting for something bad to happen. So I asked the owners, I said, let me ask you something. Tell me more about the training. What did you get to see? This is what they told me about the la last lesson that they, when they went to pick up their dog, this is what they witnessed, okay? Th this is mind blowing. They take this dog, this Rottweiler with the bite history, they put it up on a training table. I don't know, uh, a lot of you won't know what a training table is. A training table is used in dog sports, um, protection protection work in dog sports. And what it is, it's a round wooden table, a few feet off the floor. It's got a pole sticking out of the middle with a short chain. And what they do is they, they chain that dog to that pole, okay, on a short chain so it can't go anywhere. And then they put a lot of pressure on the dog to get the dog to react in defense drive. They get the dog to, to, to feel like it has no choice because it can't flee. It's there, it has to fight. They get the dog to bite basically, okay, in, in, a, in a nutshell. 
But what they did with this dog, now this is a dog with a bite history, all right, that they're trying to fix. So what they did with this dog is they put it up on the table. They started agitating the dog. The dog was petrified. The dog fell off the table several times, which for one means the chain was too long, doing everything it could to get away. So they could force the dog to show some aggression and then shock it with a shock collar. And yes, I said shock collar, which is a term I normally don't use because that's what they're doing. So they put the e-collar or shock collar on the highest level. They got the dog to react what it's there to be fixed for so they could punish that behavior. So all you anti-e-collar people, yes, those are the people you need to go after. But you see, they don't show what they do. They're not open about what they do. They do it behind closed doors. And I'm behind you with that 100%. Someone like that, I could stick my foot down their teeth and knock, down, knock out every tooth in their mouth and poke their eyes out because it disgusts me. When I realize what they did to this dog, that's straight up animal abuse. And they use the tool that so many are against to, to, to do it. And in that instance, yeah, that, that's, that's ridiculous. But that is not what I do. That's not what the trainers out there who are using this tool, and there's so many, there's plenty of trainers out there all over the country that are doing a great job with this tool. So for, again, for all you anti-e-collar people, I don't teach behaviors with the e-collar. I use motivation, I use food, I use toys, I use praise. When I teach something, the dog wants to work for me. If you look at my dogs, they're pretty happy. My client's dogs are happy. They're off leash and they're free. I don't have to have e-collars on my dogs. You'll very rarely see an e-collar on my dog unless I'm trying to demonstrate some kind of e-collar video or something, all right? Um, the purpose of good e-collar training is if you do it correctly, you're gonna have a happy dog and you're very rarely gonna ever have to use an e-collar. And if you do, it's not gonna be on, on high levels to hurt the dog like you, like you think, like the, the people who are so confused about this subject think. That's not what it's about, people. That's not what we're doing, you know? If you're never gonna have your dog off leash, stay away from e-collars, all right? No, no reason to use them. If I never took my dog off leash, I wouldn't use e-collars. There's no reason to. There's just no reason to. That's the big reason why I use e-collars, to provide my dogs or clients dogs off-leash freedom. Okay, that's what a dog needs. It needs to run, it needs to be free, it needs to be roam. But at the same time, if you're in a place where you could allow your dog to be off-leash, well then you better have something implemented to where you can get that dog's attention or stop that dog. You always have to prepare for what if. They're dogs, they're animals, they make mistakes just like we make mistakes. They're not perfect. I can't tell you, I can't remember the last time I ever had to use an e-collar on one of my dogs. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. And at a high level, even less. I couldn't tell you. So let me explain again, anti-e-collar people. By being so against this tool, there are dogs dying every day in shelters that can't be fixed because of the purely positive movement, which is total bullshit and incomplete training. Okay, I use a lot of positive reinforcement and training, but there's more to it. You have to be a complete trainer. Um, you know, how many people, you know, it's, I, I just don't, I'm so frustrated with this. So now I'm gonna post this video. When I get that stupid question, because I'll get it again today in my videos. Why do you have to use e-collars, shock collars to teach simple cues? I don't, plain and simple. So I'm just gonna keep posting this video now when they see it. And I'm sure I'm forgetting to, 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 to say a lot here. I'm, I'm rambling on. All right, but uh, I even offered the one person who keeps hitting me, come to my seminar next month in West Virginia, free of charge, you come as my guest. Well, it's too expensive, she can't get here from the UK. And she said, I'm sure you won't pay my flight from the UK. No, I, no, I won't, because <laughs> you're probably someone I wouldn't want to be around, but I do have an open mind. And so when I come across these people, and I've come across a lot of them, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not angry at them, I understand. I understand why they feel the way they do, but they're, they're, they just don't understand the, the way this tool should and is being used the way I'm using it. They just see, you know, the, the shitty people out there, what they're doing, and, 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 that's, and that's too bad, you know? But, uh, so again, I don't teach behaviors with the e-collar. Plain and simple, okay? Stop bothering me. Peace.